Hey babe, how come you never study? Especially in your vlog? I study at home when I'm not vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a skewed sample because when I'm vlogging by default, I'm not studying. <laughs> so in my vlogs, I'm not studying. Hello. <laughs> I'm waiting for brunch. We are here at My Warby Parker box just came, so I'm gonna open it for you guys. Excited? What do you guys think? Okay, so it's gonna take me a little while to get used to the new glasses, so I'm gonna actually put on my old ones. And I actually haven't done any studying today, so it's time to do a little studying. I'm using case files. I like case files because they're short little cases covering each topic. And the book is relatively small. It's about the size of a iPad mini, so it's easy to carry around with you. Um, another resource I'm using is this AAFP, American Academy of Family Physicians, I think. And if you're a medical student, you have access to this website and you can join. And this website actually has a lot of practice questions. So that's that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks of studying. So family medicine rotation in terms of schedule is a lot easier than some of my previous rotations. Obviously, OBGYN, I was getting up at 4.30 in the morning, 5 in the morning. Um, for family medicine, sometimes I don't have to be in the office until noon. Sometimes it's 9. Um, generally, so it's a much easier schedule and I have a lot of time to do other stuff. But in terms of shelf, I heard that it's one of the hardest shelf exams. Um, because if you think about it, family medicine doctor sees a little bit of everything. Um, whenever there's something wrong, most people go to their family medicine doctor first. So the shelf exam covers a lot of topics and I've heard that it's a difficult shelf exam. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to front load a lot of my studying. Um, usually for like a six week rotation, I don't really start studying until week three, at least not seriously anyway. So that's about halfway into rotation, I don't start studying. But for family medicine, I'm gonna try to do um, a lot of my studying earlier, um, probably to study hard the whole time. I've started doing some case files. I've started doing some questions on the AAFP uh, website. So um, hopefully that'll help me cover a lot of the stuff early on and hopefully I can do all well on the shelf exam. Okay, so time to start, time to start studying. <laughs> So speaking of studying, I'm going to do a little video on my study tips. I've been getting a lot of questions about this topic and I know it's a huge topic and the way you study might differ a lot depending on what you're studying, but I wanted to make a general video that might apply to high school students, uh, university students, and med students as well. So if you found something that already works great for you, that's good. You, might, you probably don't need this video, but if you're wondering where to start and how to get started, I'll share some of my tips with you guys. So time to move to a big camera. Tip number one, when to study. Study like it's your full-time job. You may have a part-time or even a full-time job while attending school and that's great. But don't forget that being a student is also a job. It's something you signed up for and it's something you're responsible for. It requires the same or even greater amount of time and effort as a full-time job. It doesn't have to be a 9 to 5 and the number of hours per day probably depends on what you're studying. But the point is your study should really be the priority and the main focus of your life as a student. So here's an example of how I do that. You can start by using your exam dates as landmarks and divide up the work evenly among the days that you plan to study. 
Make sure you add in some rest days and stick to your plan schedule. For example, if you have 10 days to study for your exam, you can divide the entire exam material into 10 and cover a little bit each day. Obviously, if there's a harder topic, you might want to spend a little longer on that topic until you feel comfortable. Uh, my general rule of thumb is study and review what you learned that day and at the end of the week, review everything you learned that week by doing questions and repeat. Tip number two, make specific plans on what to study. If you don't know where to start, look at the table of contents in your textbook or your syllabus. If you went over a chapter in class today, your outline should look something like the outline of the chapter in that textbook. Um, make a list of topics or concepts you need to master. For whatever reason, it makes a big difference to me when I make a little box next to the list and check things off as I go. I've seen a lot of residents do this during my rotations. I guess it just helps with getting things done. Tip number three is test yourself. There are many ways to master a concept. You can read, you can outline, you can use memorization tools like Anki or flashcards. At the end of the day, you need to test to see if you really know your material. Um, so let's say you're covering a small topic in biology like DNA replication. At the end of your study session, you should be able to teach a fellow student how DNA replication works. Um, I tend to talk out loud when I study just to make sure I really understand something. Um, and I don't wait to do this at the end of the day. I do this every couple of paragraphs I go over. Um, it might sound crazy, but I talk out loud as if there's a student that I'm tutoring and I go step by step on how DNA replication is done. It also helps to draw things out with and without looking at your notes. Tip number four, do practice questions. If you're studying for a science or math class, you have to have done a lot of practice questions before taking the exam. Your exam cannot be the first time you're doing questions on the topic that you learned. And that's because you actually learn a lot by doing questions. I personally learn more by doing questions than straight up reading the textbook. If I'm really short on time, there are times when I would go straight to a good question bank with thorough explanations on right and wrong answers and learn my highest yield items from there. When you get something wrong, read the explanations and go back to tip number three and explain to yourself or your invisible friend or a real friend why the right answer is the right answer and why what, what you picked is the wrong answer. This will definitely help to reinforce all the concepts and help you start thinking the way exam makers think, which is the ultimate goal in doing well in class. So that's all the tips I have for doing well in class and studying effectively. I hope you guys find it helpful. So I think I need a change of scenery, so I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and try to get some work done. Let's go. Let's go. So I just got back from the coffee shop. I got a lot of work done, so it was good. Um, when I came back, I got a delivery from HelloFresh. HelloFresh, if you guys don't know, is a meal kit delivery service. They send you a very easy to make recipes with measured out ingredients. So you don't have to measure anything out. Everything's already measured for you. Um, and all the recipes are actually designed to be made under 30 minutes. So if you're short on time like me, it's a great investment so that you can have home cooked meals several times a week. For HelloFresh, all the meals and recipes are designed by a dietitian, so you know everything is nutritionally balanced. So um, I'm really excited to be trying out a recipe from HelloFresh today. So first I'm gonna unbox everything and show you what I got in the box. So today we're gonna make the Mediterranean skillet chicken. So I'm super excited and can't wait to show you guys what we make. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, guys, check out our final product. Doesn't this look so legit? It looks delicious. Look at all those colors, all those veggies and flavors. So the recipe was super easy to make. All the ingredients came measured, so there was no waste. I used everything that they sent me, um, and everything turned out perfectly. So if you guys are interested in trying out HelloFresh.com, go to their website, HelloFresh.com. I'll put the link down below in the description box, and use the code STRIVE when you subscribe. That rhymes. And you can get $35 off your first, uh, first week of meals. Um, if you guys try it, definitely let me know what you guys think. And... Thank you guys for coming along with me today. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!